Revit allows for the automation of the revision process. And this is done by placing revision clouds either inside of the view or on the sheet itself. Then after placing that revision cloud, your title block will fill in appropriately with the correct revision information. Move your cursor over to the Annotate tab, then select on Revision Cloud. When you do, make sure that over toward the right hand side that you have rectangles selected. Move the cursor down, then over toward the left hand side of the sheet. Click once, then click a second time to draw a revision cloud window around the bottom half of this detail. If we now look at our properties, we can see that this revision is revision one. In fact, it has the number revision one right underneath it here in properties. And the date that will show up in the revision is called date one. And in just a moment, I'll show you where that information can be updated and changed. Move your cursor up and select on the big green check mark. We now have that revision cloud in place. And now if we look on our title block, we can see that the revision is now inside of the title block. To modify this information, come up to the Manage tab and select on Additional Settings. Then pick Sheet Issues Revisions. This is where all that information related to the revisions is located at. Currently, it's numeric as opposed to alphabetic. The date is called Date 1, and Revision is Revision 1. If we needed to change this to alphabetic instead, we could by clicking where it has numeric, then selecting alphabetic off of the list. The date one and revision one, if we wanted to put in today's date, as well as some sort of revision information, we could do that here. We will talk about the rest of this just a little bit later. But another thing I would like to do is add yet another revision to this information. To add a new revision, just come up and select on the big add button in the upper right hand corner. This will add revision two. This can also be either alphabetic or numeric and can have its own information associated with it. Come down to OK. You will notice that even though we've added a second revision, it does not show up here inside of the title block. The reason is, is that that revision information is associated with the revision cloud. Since there are no revision clouds, either inside of a view that would be on the sheet or on the sheet itself, there's no revision information showing up inside of the title block. Let's place another revision cloud so that we can now see revision B show up here inside of the title block. I just zoomed out by spinning the wheel on the mouse, come up here to annotate, then from the annotate tab, click on revision cloud. Under properties, where it says revision, change this to sequence two, revision two. You will notice that the revision number will now be a B, and the revision date is called date two because that's the piece of information that we had in that dialog box. Draw a little window around here that will be our revision cloud just by clicking once, then clicking again. And let's also have a second revision, but this time let's use one of our other drawing tools. And I don't care if it's the circle or the polygon or which one that you use, but in this case, I will be using the line tool and I will manually draw in the shape that I want this to be, then click on the big green check mark. By doing this, both of these are associated with revision two. If we look in the title block, we can see that revision two is now there in the title block, and this is the letter B. Come up to the Manage tab, select on Additional Settings, then go to your Sheet Issues and Revisions to see its properties. A couple of other properties that are available here underneath Sheet Issues and Revisions include Issued and Show. Issued means that if Issued is checkmarked, no other revisions can then be used that are revision number one because this has already been issued. Where it says Show, Cloud and Tag, make this be None. This means that the cloud and then the tag that we would eventually put in would not show up. Move down here to OK. Zoom out, and you will notice that revision one no longer shows up because in that previous dialog box, we told it not to show up. If we need to tag our revision clouds, we can do that as well. Just come over to the annotate tab, tag by category, click the revision cloud, 
And by doing that, we can now see that this is revision B, which of course corresponds with the information that we have over here. If we go back to the Manage tab, once again, come down here to Additional Settings, Sheet Issues and Revisions, we can see that Cloud and Tag is the option, and that's the reason why we can still see it. It's still turned on. If we decide to only show the Tag and not the Cloud, we could then click on OK one more time, and now we can see down here that all that's left is the Tag. And if we need to turn that leader off, because right now it's not pointing at anything, Make sure to select on the tag, come up to leader, and now you will see that that leader goes away, the leader that had been pointing to the original revision cloud.